Hi, Frank Rohr here, President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl. What I'm showing you here is, is why it's fabulous to live in North Dakota, anywhere in the upper Midwest. We got great pheasants, we got ducks galore. I have to admit, this was a bait and switch video. Got you interested thinking this was a hunting video? It's not. This is going to be a physiology video. Okay, stick with me, it's just going to take a few seconds. We're going to cut these birds open and take a look inside. Okay, we've got these birds peeled back and you can see that the mallard has dark meat and the pheasant is light meat. Okay, that's characteristic of game birds versus waterfowl. Game birds only need to fly short distances. A long flight for a pheasant, half mile. All it needs to do is fly explosively quickly away from a fox or a hunter, as opposed to a mallard that migrates. A long flight is a thousand miles. This bird has lots of myoglobin in the muscle tissue. Myoglobin is the oxygen transport method that gets the oxygen to the muscle fibers and keeps them functioning aerobically. Pheasants can fly anaerobically because they just fly short distances and then they can replenish the, the tissue with oxygen. So that's the difference. Lots of myoglobin, mitochondria, long muscle fibers, slow twitch muscle, fast twitch, short fat muscle fibers. And that's the physiological differences between pheasants and mallets.